Hi there, Mark here again. Um, welcome to this little video. I just wanted to pass on a little tip that I picked up um, whilst building some shocks the other day for my uh, new DTO3. Um, I was building up the shocks following the normal procedure and a thought came to me about how to stop getting bubbles trapped in the oil. How familiar is this guys? Uh, you've built a shock, um, you push the shaft up and lo and behold it comes back down on its own. Now that is due to trapped air. So I thought well it's telling me to put the piston in and then fill up the oil from the top um, but obviously the piston's sitting at the bottom here and below it if you've just built it for the first time is um, trapped air which is really difficult to get back up through uh, most shocks have these tiny little holes in the uh, pistons or the piston valves um, so especially if you're using quite a, a heavy oil like the 800 I'm using this one um, it's difficult for the air bubbles to get back through and the oil to get underneath that piston and normally you have to move the piston up and down a lot and then set it aside and wait for the bubbles to come to the top um, I usually leave mine for an hour or two so here's a simple trick for you guys um, nice and easy and it seemed to work the first time I tried it so here we go so this is what you do if you get your shock body get your piston and shaft um, if the piston and the shaft is longer than the shock body it's quite simply a matter of pushing the bottom of the shaft just into the seals there without coming right out the other end it leaves a big gap um, on some shocks you won't be able to get your oil underneath the top of the piston if you can like this then just fill it up like so otherwise simply put your finger over the hole and then fill the body up with oil but on this one as I said the shaft is longer the piston is still sticking out the top all I'm going to do is fill it up with oil like so okay when it's full of oil push the shot piston slowly down so they're all coming up there and lo and behold there are no air bubbles I hope you can see that simply place your cap on normally get a bit of overflow which is good knows you've got it filled to the top put the cap on so hopefully this time when I push the shaft up it doesn't come back out there's no um, trapped air pushing the piston back down so I think this time there's no air trapped in there um, I know it's a really simple thing but uh, it just occurred to me the other day as I say when I was building a shock and yeah, it kind of makes sense really um, yeah I've tried it on a diff few different types of shocks uh, and it seems to work every time so there you go there's my little tip hope uh, it helps you let me know what you think thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next video Bye.